Hey y'all, Dr. Ryan Edwards here with Windermere Dental in Cumming, Georgia. Um, thanks again for checking out this channel where we talk about all things dentistry and answer your frequently asked questions. Today we're talking about flossing, which I know is super exciting, but I'm bringing this up because I see so many patients who have not been taught how to floss correctly or don't do things right and can actually injure themselves by not flossing correctly. So we're just gonna go over real quick here the correct way to floss. First question is why should you floss? Now I know, what was it, like a year or two ago, um, there was an article that came out that said that there's no evidence supporting flossing. And yeah, that's kind of the, the truth. There really is not any concrete evidence supporting flossing. So why are we recommending it? Well, for one thing, a lot of people haven't done a lot of research on flossing because they'd rather spend their research dollars on stuff that's kind of more important. Um, but the other reason we recommend it and have recommended it for so long is because of the idea of biofilm. Biofilm is that gross sludge that forms on your teeth if you don't brush or clean your teeth well. If you actually want to run an experiment, you could go a few days without brushing or flossing your teeth and you'll see like this white goo or this fuzz form on your teeth. That's biofilm, that's plaque. And it's a mixture of bacteria, uh, viruses, uh, it's a mixture of proteins and, and minerals that are naturally in your mouth. And if you leave that on your teeth, it can cause all sorts of problems like cavities, gum disease, and whatnot. So we recommend that you floss to get that film off of your teeth and give you a better chance of staying healthy. So that's the whole point behind it. So real quick, we'll talk about flossing. In this, th today's demonstration, this will be my floss, and these are my teeth. These are, I know, normally uh, flower pots, but they're gonna be our teeth today. And you can see uh, that this person uh, who has flower pots for teeth they brushed well. So they used your toothbrush, they cleaned the smiling surfaces really good, they cleaned the chewing surfaces really good, but they didn't floss. So they have all this gunk here in between the teeth. So that's why we got a floss. We're gonna help them out and show you how to floss. So what you do is you slide the floss down between the teeth. And a mistake I often see people do is they'll actually, they'll think that they're kind of shining their shoes. So you're not, but they'll start doing this. And you can see that'll get that little spot clean but you're not really removing the film. And I've actually seen a patient who did this for so many years that they actually cut notches in the sides of their teeth because this is the same kind of motion that they do in the movies when they're trying to cut through jail bars. And after years and years of doing this, you will cut notches uh, in your enamel and it can become really, really sensitive. So this is not the recommended way to floss. This is potentially injurious to your teeth and your gums. You can cut your gums doing this too. So what you should do is you should curve the floss around the, the tooth and scrape up and down. And you can see it does a really good job of getting that stuff off. So you wanna curve it around the tooth and go up and down. You're scraping that film off. That works great. Now you're not done yet because there's another tooth right next to it. So you gotta curve the floss the other direction and again, scrape up and down here to get all that stuff off that way. Now I'll come around this way for my demonstration. So you're gonna scrape up and down again this way. Now. I've got a lot more mud here than what you would have on your teeth. So it's kind of piling up there. That, ideally that wouldn't be there. You wouldn't really have that much of a mess when you floss. But now you kind of see the concept behind flossing. That's what you want to do. Um, do that at least once a day. That's going to be a really effective way to get that stuff off your teeth. And getting that off of there helps keep your gums healthy as well. So there you go. That's my recommendation to help you uh, keep your teeth and your gums healthy. There's some instructions on flossing. If you have any questions or comments, uh, leave them below and hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel as well for future dental information and news on how you can uh, stay healthy. Make sure everybody stays healthy in these quarantine days. Uh, it's gonna be rough, we got a little ways to go, but I'll be here posting videos to help you stay healthy. Um, check out our Facebook page as well. Um, that's it, I'll see you next time, thanks.